this censoring will only get worse. It's not going to get better. Not with Google, not with Facebook, not with YouTube. Google is a monopoly. In fact, the European Union has been fighting with Google for about seven years. These antitrust allegations coming from the European Union against Google. Well, I think that that is kind of like our congressional hearings. Nothing will happen. The European Union does not want to break up Google. Now, I've been hearing rumors that our Congress is going to be holding hearings on Google, it being a monopoly and considering whether or not it should be broken up. Google is not a private company. It's a monopoly for a reason, because it is a monopoly of the U.S. government, the intelligence community. It is a monopoly created by the CIA, NSA, DARPA, and numerous other intelligence agencies. And I will be um, just going over a little bit of information that is in this article, how the CIA made Google inside the secret network behind mass surveillance, endless war, and Skynet. Interesting that Google came up with this motto, don't be evil, when Google is pure evil. Now, this came about by a crowdfunded investigative journalism project. This is a fabulous article. This is part one. There is a part two, why Google made the NSA inside the secret network behind mass surveillance, endless war, and Skynet. I will link below to both. I really do suggest, even though this is very long, it is well written. It is very interesting, but it really gives all of the details on what Google is all about, how it came about, who funded it, and what is happening with Google right now. But before I get into that, I want to also talk about this. It, it, first of all, congressional hearings, they're a show. It's absurd theater put on for the American public to make Americans believe that our representatives in Washington, D.C. are working so hard for our benefit. If you just look back at all of the congressional hearings, what have resulted from them? Virtually nothing. These hearings that you pay for result in nothing. And any hearing on Google and Congress thinking about breaking it up, it will result in nothing, trust me. And you will probably see mainstream media coming out with more articles like this. Is it time to break up Google? New York Times posted this a couple of weeks ago. Google, um, it restructured under a larger company named Alphabet. And Google and Alphabet have been purchasing a whole lot of companies. And take a look at this list. Google owns over 200 companies, and it is still snatching up any company that has to do with uh, voice and facial recognition, robotic companies, this list is very, very long, but you will see that the companies that Google is purchasing are companies related to intelligence, related to surveillance, related to cloud computing, related to GPS navigation, related to in artificial intelligence, augmented reality, satellites, wireless, and robotic companies, and other search engines. So when you look at how many companies Google is snatching up, that is very concerning. First of all, it will um, buy companies that could possibly present competition but it is also really, um, it's 
unbelievable facial recognition systems, um, gesture and image recognition systems. But all of this is for our intelligence agencies. So I'll try to do this quickly. Google was founded by Sergey Brin and Larry Page, these two PhD students at Stanford. And the narrative about these techies, these young techies like Mark Zuckerberg and Sergey Brin and Larry Page, it is essentially the same. These are, these are incredibly brilliant young techies. They have incredible entrepreneurial spirits. And it's spoken as if they had no help whatsoever, but through their own blood, sweat, and tears, did they found these companies. And nothing could be further from the truth. The National Science Foundation, NASA, DARPA, and Digital Library Initiatives funded Sergey Brin and Larry Page. The National Science Foundation, in the funding of Brin and Page, got their money from the CIA. Anytime the CIA does not want a record that shows a direct link with its funding of something, then it just goes through other government agencies or foundations, like the CIA did with the National Science Foundation in funding Brin and Page to develop Google. Brin and Page, as they were developing Google, worked very closely with intelligence officials. Two of those officials, one, Dr. Bhavane Thur A. Singham, I'm not sure if I pronounced her name right, and Dr. Rick Steinheiser. Both Thur A. Singham and Steinheiser worked for NSA, CIA, U.S. Air Force, and Navy, and Communications Electronics Command, CECOM. And Bryn developed Google's page ranking search system under a CIA NSA program. And once Google incorporated, Google received $25 million in funding from Sequoia Capital and Kleiner Perkins Caulfield and Byers. Sequoia Capital has bankrolled other tech startups for the Department of Defense. Kleiner Perkins funds startups, and it was John Dower who led Kleiner Perkins investment in Google. And soon after, Dower had a seat on Google's board. Dower, in 2009, received $16 million from DARPA for this uh, research and development program owned by Dower. And Dower also had a close relationship with Obama and was instrumental in getting increased funding for the tech industry. In 2003, Google began customizing its search engine under a special contract with CIA. In 2004, Google bought Keyhole Incorporated. Keyhole Incorporated was funded by InQtel. InQtel is CIA's investment firm. The CIA created InQtel, and InQtel funds an awful lot of tech startups. So InQtel funded Keyhole Incorporated. Google bought Keyhole Incorporated, and that allowed Google to develop Google Earth. And in 2010, Google signed a multi-billion dollar no-bid contract with NSA's sister agency, National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, NGA, which uses Google's advanced satellite systems. Google has many from the CIA, NSA, DARPA, many from our military industrial intelligence complex working for Google, such as in 2012, 
Regina Dugan left her position as the director of DARPA to lead Google's Advanced Technology and Projects Group, Google's chief artificial intelligence and robotics expert, James Kofner, also had ties to DARPA, another Google artificial intelligence expert, Peter Norvig, connected to the Pentagon. It is apparent that Google was incubated, nurtured, and funded by U.S. intelligence agencies to dominate the world through control of information and the collection of information, the analysis of information, a vehicle in which to gain information superiority. That is Google.